Brock Purdy has an oblique slash rib injury and is day to day. What do you how do you interpret this? Well, if it's a tear, it's a terrible injury. If it's a if it's just a pull, maybe they can deal, you know, you know, somehow uh deal with it and get it rehabbed. But you know, well, if it's day to day. Yeah, and, and then the question is how much does a quarterback use his oblique um to play the game? You know, and uh, is it a pain tolerance thing? Like for baseball, it's a nightmare injury, right? Because yeah. you're sitting there hard and to throw. This, and yeah. you've got your every or, swing, or you're, you know, or you've hit. got the whole yeah. torque, torque right. of your torso. That's right. I don't know. I mean, you know, I'm not sure for a, for a quarterback. I mean, that might be the question for Shanahan is, you know, how does an oblique injury impact a quarterback? Where does he feel it? Does he feel it right. on his drop at the top of his drop? When he like, did he hurt it when he dove for the first down yes. on the deep? Yes. When he yes he did yes. So you know, so he extended. So it really yes. had maybe nothing. Probably to landed do. on it. Yeah. So, so it, seems, it seems like something you could probably numb before the game and play through. I mean, he played through it already, didn't he? I, I know. you know, I, I'll say this: I've had a pulled oblique, and it is painful, yeah. and it's kind of nagging too. So yeah. it's kind of like a hammy. You don't want it to be, um, you know, something that lingers. But I don't know how much it impacts his his motion and his ability to throw the ball down the field or with velocity. I don't know. Look, as someone who played JV baseball at Bishop O'Dowd High School, all I can say is I've injured my oblique before. It is really hard to throw a ball. Uh, it, no hard matter to swing. Which oblique it is. It's hard to swing. It's hard to twist. It's hard to throw. It's hard to do all of that. So he did it already. Maybe he can do it again. But the fact that it's a Thursday game, I think, is kind of rough timing for the 49ers. Best guess, you think he plays? This, yeah, this Thursday. I think he plays, and it's a run-heavy scheme, and the 49ers win. That would be my guess. And I agree. and. and and on the one thing on the Debo front that I think is going to be we got a glimpse of this week for the very first time, or not the first time, but the first time in a long time, Danny Gray. Danny Gray was out there. And you're talking about, you know, it, the receivers and impacting winning. Danny Gray, if they could introduce him and get him in some kind of rhythm, I'm not saying feeding him a lot of balls, but I'm just saying if they can introduce him to their offense and make him a, a you know, a guy who produces – he could have a profound impact on Kyle, his ability to call plays underneath. Uh, he just creates all this space. If they can establish him as a deep threat in in the latter part of the year, that could really bode well for their chances. Why do you think he was on the field yesterday after all this time? Why? Because they, I think they just know that he's he he has a reason that he's on the roster. His reason is he takes the top off a of defense and makes teams play them deep. And right. teams, that's something Shanahan – offensive football is about creating space. In the run game, you need space. In the pass game, you need space. You're so Danny close, Gray Larry. creates that space. You're so close. Yes, he creates that space. And there's a quarterback who's going to take advantage of it now, unlike yeah. the last one. I'm saying Brock Purdy now puts Danny Gray back in play the way that Trey He Lynch does throw the deep ball. He Jimmy Garoppolo ball took him out of think. play. So, anyway – I'm excited. Didn't, about Jimmy that. didn't try a lot of deep balls. I think no. Brock will look down the field. Absolutely.